Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to my 2525th edition of short term trading live with oscar traders before we get into this please know the risks behind this game if you trade stocks options etfs futures not futures if you trade crypto i don't care what it is you trade it's very risky please know this put your stops in before you trade put them in first before you enter into a live position so what's going on at short term trading live with oscar traders Earlier today, before Powell came out, I did a video for you cats. I put it out. I said the charts look to me like the Fed's only going to raise a quarter point and the charts or the markets will explode today. Well, lo and behold, Powell came out about an hour after I submitted that video to you. And it's exactly what happened. He raised only a quarter point interest rate and the markets exploded. So I showed you this wonderful chart of the NASDAQ weekly. And I said, this is your indicator. If you can stay above the 200 like we've done for a week and stay outside of this big blue channel, away we go. Everything looks positive. Powell came out and gave us the green light. So let me show you. This is for long-term trading, right? This is the, the weekly bar. Let's go look at short-term trading. Traders, I have no choice but to look at this as a possible double top. Today, the market did explode after Powell raised rates a little bit, only a quarter point. The market exploded a lot a bit. It went all the way up to a possible double top. So now what do we do? We've had the perfect golden cross, built a bull flag right in this area exploded up but it hits a possible double top all right that's the transportation average deemed our leader what's the e-mini s p look like same sort of issue look at this double top possibility right there top one top two so what do we do well we know one thing when we see a double top we sell a double top right that's supposed to be how we act now, I've got a buy recommendation from my Omni today. Wants me to buy a really deep dip, which I will do if we could get a fill. But I will tell you this much. If the E-mini S&P opens up, rallies up and hits that double top, and then starts to come down a little bit, I am not buying it when it gets to my buy point. In other words, if we go up first and hit this double top and test it, and then it starts to come down, I am not going to get into my buy. I will cancel all buying. So it depends on what we do first. If S&P goes up first, no buying for me. If S&P does not go up first, all right, so then maybe we'll end up taking our buy. One step at a time, the S&P has not done that yet. So while it's a quagmire on what to do with the double top, because we know when we see one, we sell one, Let's look elsewhere. I say we sink our teeth into this instead. Look at precious metals. Look at gold. I've been hemming and hawing, if you will, about gold at you for the last few weeks, right? Well, it's getting better and better now. Look at this purple support line. Bounced off of it one, two, three, four, five, six times. Then comes and hits it again and holds. Rallies up. It's inside this green thing. It's an Oscarism known as the F flag. Gold looks fantastic. We are buyers of dips in gold. Gold is a lot cleaner looking and clearer than that double top possibility in indices. And the Omni's bullish in gold. So I love what I see there. Look at the silver. Check this one out. Silver looks fantastic as well. Silver daily bar, bullish as can be. Why? Well, many reasons, but one of them. We are inside of this really nice, strong, built green channel. Looks more like a big Oscarism known as an F flag to me, to be honest. Just throw the pole in there, take the top line, clean it up, and you've got a big green F flag building, right? What else is involved in this F flag or in silver, the precious metals, if you will? The 50 ball moving average, look at the run down to it and the hold where? Right near the bottom of the trend line. Goes back up, runs down a second time. Where? Bottom of the trend line holds, takes off, and the Omni is bullish for trading on Thursday. So we like precious metals. I think they're a cleaner trade. 
the dollar looks bearish so let's go with precious metals traders that's what I wanted to show you my apologies for doing these videos where I'm not in front of the camera but markets have been moving so dramatically sometimes this is the best way for me to illustrate what I want you to see so you can be prepared for the next day's trading thank you for tuning in join me at livewithoscar.com and remember now say this with me kids you know what it is one two three Stop so in emotions are out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this helps you, and I will see you all in my free live trading room at live with oscar.com omni campus i'm so looking forward to seeing you on friday morning welcome to las vegas